Did you see the boxing match at the Olympic oh, boxing? It, did you see the guy? I did. It was. Did you see that beautiful Italian girl? She's supposed to be a good boxer. She took just a left jab. The guy's up. He goes, boom. That's like a defensive punch. So it goes like that. I never saw it quite like that. She didn't actually go down. She walked back to her corner. She said, I just got hit harder than I've ever been yeah, hit before. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Then he, the corner pushes her back out. You can do it. You can do it. But he goes with another left jab. And she walked off. She said, I did, there's no way I can beat the." Now, there were two people in the Olympics, because I didn't even know they have female boxing. There were two people that transitioned into women. Both of them won the gold medal. Shockingly, are you shocked to hear that? Imagine that, right? <laughs> How would you like to play this guy? Okay, <laughs> he decides to transition. I don't think we have to worry about. <laughs> don't, it. Don't. Somehow, I don't think this, I don't think we have to worry about. It, but this would not be pleasant. <laughs> yeah, anyway, it's been great being with you guys. Yeah, I was. I was going to ask you. I mean, you're a billionaire. Yeah. You've got a. a beautiful wife, very intelligent. You've got a wonderful family. You got people shooting at you. You don't have to do this. That's true. I mean, I it, don't have to. You don't, you don't have to do <laughs> I this. Say, what am I doing? And, sometimes? Why am I doing this? But, yeah. but you are. Yeah. And I mean, it, I think, you know, people get in the media and everything else, they, they get everything so twisted. Um, but yeah. it takes a special, it takes a special human being to sit on a podium take a bullet and get up bleeding with your hand raised in the air yeah. and let, yeah. you, let them know that, you know, the moment right now it, it is bigger than that. Yeah. You know, I, I just, I, I don't know. I mean, what possesses you to, to put your life on the line when you don't, you don't have to, yeah. you, you have a wonderful life and you've got a tremendous well, legacy beyond that I, I sometimes joke with the crowds because we get very big crowds we had 107,000 in butler that's where the accident took place we had 55,000 when we went back a couple of months later we had just the other you know two weeks ago mm -hmm. we had 107,000 we had 101,000 in california and uh, incredible three days ago big crowds big crowds and, you know, abnormally big, because no politician ever had these crowds. I don't even know what it is exactly. I can't explain it. Why? Why am I getting, you know, it's like, why? But um, I sometimes say, I don't have to be here with you. I could be in Monte Carlo and the beaches. I could have everything. I don't need this. But I'd rather be in Butler, Pennsylvania with you, you know. <laughs> and it's true, actually. Because, look, I have a lot of wealthy friends and they go to these places and, you know, most of them are unhappy and all that stuff. But, you know, I, I feel I have a purpose and that's to rebuild our country. This country is doing so badly. The border, I mean, I don't know what your politics are or is, but uh, your politics, uh, just common sense. We have murderers pouring into our country. We have drug dealers pouring and just, just the border. There's many things wrong, but... Just the border. I think the border is worse than inflation. I think it's. I think it's the biggest thing to me. It's a, you know like we're now in the middle. I don't know when this is going on, and I wish you luck with it. I know you're going to get high ratings. I used to think I was a big person, but I don't feel so big standing next to this guy. This guy is me. Oh, well, but my son would feel better, although he's not quite as wide as you. I will say. Not quite. Grow into he will be. Yeah. He will be someday. But uh, but I feel I have an obligation to do this. Uh, I had four great years. I was, you know, we had the best economy we've ever had as a country. We had the strongest borders we've ever had in recorded history. I guess they might have been very strong a thousand years ago or something. But uh, we had the strongest uh, borders. We, we were hitting on all, I rebuilt the military, got the biggest tax cuts in history, got the biggest regulation cuts in history, really doing great. And then we had a crazy election where I did much better than the first time. And if I didn't have that, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't have done this. Uh, 